guys welcome to first class airsoft here uh, today we're reviewing a real quick review of the echo one multicam crane stock and as you can see this is a pretty light colored multicam um, although it is uh, cry licensed it's not really worth the price you pay for uh, most retailers will have this um, stock with the buffer tube and mounting hardware all for about uh, 50 or so dollars but evike uh, with the price match made this into 40 um, but I highly recommend you don't get this. Why? Because it's crap. You're paying for multicam uh, licensing. You're not paying for quality. Um, this is. I took this out yesterday on my first game, and the two pegs that go in here to cover up the compartment. Uh, it's seen in this stock and the JG. Uh, oh no, this is the Echo One uh, stock off my uh, MTC Two, and. Uh, these pegs fell out instantly there's no grip to them and they're just flimsy as hell um, I lost this one just while running and I didn't even know they fought, fell out until I felt my battery dangle out of the bottom compartments right here okay and moving on the plastic they use to make this it's extremely freaking flimsy okay what I thought when I was gonna buy this was that okay I had the MTC2 uh, stock made by Echo One you know what this was really sturdy this has not uh really fallen apart on me except for this one peg here but that's because i dropped my rifle uh about like six feet off the ground uh, when it fell off my uh sling and then landed straight on its ass see the other one's still here all right i'm thinking oh yeah it's echo one and that was echo one this will work well i bought it for 40 because most stocks with the uh, most screen stocks with a battery compartment back and a buffer tube will be about 35 to 40 ish dollars so i was like okay why not you know and also because evike at the time when i bought it was out of stock of everything else like literally all the other stocks were out of stocks all right so anyways back to the gun back to the uh, crane stock this thing is extremely flimsy the buffer tube is as good quality as the mtc2's uh, buffer tube um but in this one when I barely first took it home or got it home and I opened up the back compartment uh, the, the little plastic tabs right here they both broke off just by barely adding some pressure uh, to push them out and that ind indicated to me wow this shit is flimsy as hell and it's not worth the price point as you can see there's some uh, electrical tape right here I put it here to uh, hold the stock together hold the butt plate when I played yesterday and when you remove it, you just remove the butt slightly over here, let it hang out, and then pull it out from the back straight out. And you have your battery compartment here, like that, like so. But the biggest downside for me is that there are these uh, uh, little tabs or uh, pegs right here that uh, kept me from being able to wire my battery through, so I had to cut them off. And it still works, but quality of this ABS plastic is below my standards for Echo One or any company that should use this. This is probably like cheap Chinatown uh, Springer quality plastic. So when this broke off and everything, I had to find a replacement. And you know what I picked up was the uh, the JG PTW stock. Um, I was looking mainly for one that had a battery compartment in the back. Uh, Big enough to house what the MTC had. Sorry, I have to use this. Okay. Pull, you know, pull the tab, push the tabs, pull out the back. Has a rubberized step back part, and then there you have two gigantic compartments uh, for your uh, batteries, and these are actually suction cup pretty well in. Um, and what I realized, this uh, JG PTW stock is the exact same one as the MTC2 stock only difference is one has the little, uh, little fabric on them and one does not this one has this nice little felt right here and this one's rubberized and the felt doesn't really annoy me because I'm mean, eventually just wear off and I'll just eventually just scratch it all off but going back to the uh, Echo One MTC uh, uh, stock one second here I highly recommend you don't buy this based on the reason that it is below 
any quality I expect from any uh, of the name brand AEGs. Um, the pistol grip and the the M4A1 multicam handguard. I don't. I can't say for sure because I didn't buy those. I only needed the crane stock. Crane stock. This is for show, not practical at all. Tabs fall out. Butt plate tabs are crap as as crappy as hell. You can even see the pegs just broke off. Both of them actually broke off. The only reason this one's still on is because I stuck some uh, crazy glue onto the base there. If you can see the crack. Don't focus but whatever you can see the there's a crack at the bottom and this is not even straight up verdict like a perfect straight up angle if you can see right here it's a uh, slightly angled inward um, and totally not worth uh, any idea of you know buying unless you're just building a full multi-cam gun with hydro dip receivers and barrels and such and just making that a trophy gun don't even buy this don't even consider it all right you're better off going with the $24 uh, PTW stock. Um, granted, though, in the, on the buffer tube, it's a little bit loose, but nothing I feel layers of electrical tape can fix to fix the wobble. Uh, this definitely feels like the plastic is twice as thick as the MTC one. So I would definitely say don't buy this. But if you want to build a collector's gun or a, uh, a wall hanger, go ahead and buy it. Um, this is first class airsoft. I'm sorry. I'm running on recording this on my on my camera uh, But thank you for watching and uh, don't forget to comment rate like subscribe and uh, tell me what you think of it If you have one of these as well, and if you run a crane stock, which ones do you run? All right signing off. Goodbye